A cockroach crawls across your toothbrush, then hides inside your toothpaste cup. You're startled, but only for a moment, because you still believe your bathroom is clean. In reality, microorganisms don't just live in sewers or labs, they exist everywhere, especially on the everyday items you use. Toothbrushes, razors, combs, face towels, toothpaste cups. And when you put them under a microscope, you'll see a hidden microbial world lurking within your daily routines. Let's start with the toothbrush, the thing you put in your mouth every morning and night. Most of us think a quick rinse underwater makes it clean. But in truth, after a few weeks of use, the bristles become a microbial nursery. Under a microscope, you'll see food debris, toothpaste residue, bacteria, fungal spores, and sometimes even single-celled organisms wiggling around. A study once found an old toothbrush can harbor over 10 million microorganisms, including E. coli, Streptococcus mutans, Candida albicans, familiar culprits behind gum inflammation, cavities, and oral thrush. But the story doesn't end there. What do you do after brushing your teeth? After brushing, where do you spit your mouthwash? Into that familiar cup, of course. You place your toothbrush in it. You leave the bathroom. The rest, water, toothpaste, foam, and bacteria takes care of itself. The bottom of the cup, often overlooked, is a miniature biological lake. Toothpaste residue, white film, saliva, oral cells, piling up every day. Under a microscope, a biofilm, a sticky layer of bacteria, clings to the cup's walls. And the next morning, when you use that cup again, you're unknowingly reintroducing those bacteria back into your mouth. Cleaning tip. Wash the cup with soap and hot water daily. Dry it thoroughly. Avoid letting water pool at the bottom. Now let's look at the razor, an item that comes into direct contact with your skin and sometimes even blood. Many think a quick rinse is enough. But under a microscope, the reality is far different. You'll see. Dead skin cells, shaved hair, clusters of bacteria forming a web, and even demodex, tiny parasites that live in human hair follicles. If the blade is slightly nicked or you have an open wound, bacteria from the razor can easily invade, causing infections or abscesses. According to CDC recommendations, razors should be washed with hot water, dried, and replaced after five to seven uses. How long has it been since you replaced your blade? And finally the comb, which seems harmless, but if you've ever noticed oily hair, dried dandruff, or tiny dust particles stuck to it. Under a microscope, it's a fertile ground for yeast, Malassezia. A common yeast on the scalp is the culprit behind dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, and itchy scalps. And that's not all. Products like hairspray, styling gel, or dry shampoo leave chemical residues on the comb surface. This gives microorganisms even more nutrients to thrive. From toothbrushes to toothpaste cups, razors to combs, each item tells its own story, but they all share something in common, a moist environment, rich in organic matter, and in direct contact with your body, these factors turn your bathroom supposedly a clean space into a miniature ecosystem for microorganisms. Most of them are harmless, but when you have an open wound, a weakened immune system, or poor hygiene habits, this microbial world can cause trouble. What do you want me to examine next under the microscope? Let me know in the comments below. 
And don't forget, like this video if you found it interesting.